In this second half, let's tell you that the National Union of Pensioners is calling on President Tenubu to incorporate its members into the palliative scheme planned for citizens in the aftermath of the removal of petrol subsidy. They also made a case for increased pensions to lessen the burden of harsh economic conditions in the country. And TVC News' Joke Adisa reports. The recent subsidy removal on petrol remains a talking point in Nigeria's polity. It is one government policy that has received the support of many, but while many commend the government for taking the bold step to remove subsidy on petrol, they call on the authorities to ease the pain they bear on account of the government action. Senior citizens are among the vulnerable in the society and has organized labor rally support for workers in the quest for some relief. The Pensioners' Union is also making a case for its members. The National Union of Pensioners calls on the Nigeria Labor Congress and the federal government to see the need to include senior citizens in their plan of action. We have commended them for removing it. But in removing it, the government appeared to put the cart before the horse. What they should have done is to put the palliatives in place to ensure that the workers, the poor and the pensioners are put in a better position to absorb the shocks. The union canvasses a policy that will guarantee increase in pensions once workers' salaries are increased. We believe wholeheartedly that if the above pension reviews are paid to our members as part of the proposed palliatives, it will go a long way to ameliorate the living conditions of our members who will have cause to smile once again to the credit of the Tinibu-led federal government. The Nigerian Union of Pensioners calls for special recognition and treatment of its members in appreciation of service to their fatherland. Pensioners have transport tickets. If you enter a bus, there are seats reserved for pensioners and the agent. You present your transport ticket and nobody will collect any money from you. It is the government that will pay the transport company. We can introduce that in this country. The union says its members are low-income earners who need added funds to take care of emerging challenges, including their health. Jokeyatsa. TVC News, Abuja.